Hey everybody, what's the good word? Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok with Dude Long Couch. We are here, still in Vanaheim. I guess we have finished the main story portion of this area, at least for now. But you know what guys? We've got some side quests to handle. We do side quests on this channel. So let's go do it. Kinda hoping we'll have some good conversations with Freya on the boat. Now that we're friends again. Grab this over here. Mm. Cool down. Very good. Now, looks like we can go in two different directions here. We've got a side quest marker for the left. Let me check that. So, this is the, the mysterious orb. Lunda speaks of an orb she wants returned. She does say more about the orb's origin or intended use. So this is what we're tracking right now. That's that way. But Freya said she also had something she needed help with over here. So I don't know like what that's about. I guess maybe that's a totally different side quest over this way. That's a total assumption for right now. But let's see what's over here anyway. Maybe we'll find something interesting. There's something going on over there. Hmm. Seems like a spot that would have another Draugr hole. <laughs> Just a conspicuous puddle in the middle of nowhere. What is going on here? Oh no, it's more of this shit. We don't have the equipment for this. Ugh. I'm reaching a point where I'm getting annoyed with being gated off by these things. <laughs> but we only just now unlock the ability to get past those... What do you call them? chisel gates, I guess we'll call them. So we're probably not going to get anything new for a while yet. But we still have those those air vents and those what is your unfinished business? cracks in the walls. I left something behind near the falls. Your wedding site. Now why do you want to be going by there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage and to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. Okay, here we go. Freya's missing piece has been started. Well, I i mean, we're currently tracking the Lunda quest. We can only do one at a time as far as tracking, I think. Can I disembark here? Uh, okay. So I guess we'll just keep tracking this one and then we'll switch to Freya. Unless we end up getting Freya's along the way. I keep swiveling the camera because I'm trying to take in everything. I love all the art in this game. Hidden region discovered. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the shrine of worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's done. Yeah, those guys fucked up pretty much everything for everybody. <laughs> Interesting how no matter which religion you're talking about, the gods are pretty much always dicks. <laughs> you know, buddy, you look like you weren't even really hurting anybody. Ow. But I don't trust you to not be a dick, so I am going to kill you. Wow. It's regaining strength! Not for long. Sorry, I'm a little rusty. Haven't played in two days. Gotta get back into the swing of everything. Ow, he blew up on me and that hurt. Oh, man. Um, Let's actually not use our <laughs> resurrection stones just yet. That was a warm-up fight, okay? 
<laughs> Literally the first fight of the game. For today, that is. We should restart just right here, right? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, okay. This is actually a good time to come in and... We're using this um, Winner's Bite runic attack. I think I actually want to go back to Wrath of the Frost Ancient. I was missing something with this. I didn't realize that we had to hold down R1 to extend the duration. When I was using it during that Draugr fight, I was like, wow, that's really short and kind of crappy. And it's because I wasn't holding it down. And we can also upgrade it to get more damage and frost, which actually looks really good. Wow, if we upgrade this the whole way, that actually gets max damage and frost. Which is way more than this. And way more than this, too. So this is like the best one we've got, actually. In terms of pure damage output. So I'm going to take that up to level 2. And let's try that out now. Let's try it out on this guy. Oh yeah, that's that's way longer. That's way better. So I'm gonna use that, I believe. Shit, man. Okay. Um, we also have that. Fly frost damage, and then I hit him, and he blows up. Got to start using that a lot too. Oi. Don't let it heal. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> All right, so we do have this shield attack now too. Doesn't do a lot of pushback if you don't charge it up. I've noticed. But we can also charge it up like this. <laughs> and that's a lot better. Yeah. I'm trying to get used to everything. The combat has been evolving a lot for us lately. <laughs> Once their explosive projectile is formed, you might still disrupt their throw with a ranged attack of your own. Hmm. Okay. So what is going on in this place? We've got a raven over there. I don't know if I can hit him from way back here. That's pretty far. I think this game does have like a maximum raven killing range at some point. He kind of jumped when that one came close. I don't know if that indicates that I'm close to him. I can't even tell if I'm in front of him or behind him right now. It's so hard to tell. I think I'm still in front of him. Okay, there's got to be a better place to do that from. So, what's up with this? What the hell? What if we hit him with this guy? Hey, that worked to get rid of it. Didn't do anything for me, though. <laughs> There's some kind of creepy-ass chanting going on. I don't know what that's from. What? said that <laughs> who is Mari what is going on in this area we've seen a number of gravestones too by the way and I don't know if that's a thing shoot sigil arrows at a fire to cause a flame burst burning nearby vines okay you know well done is actually creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> well, let's move along and see what we find. 
Anouk and Song. Be wary. Oh, great. There's the little bastard right now. Ah! Oh, with. Concealing its friends, brother. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, man. All right. Ah! You don't have your little buddy helping you out now. Oh, you still have one somewhere, apparently. Damn it. Where is he? Is that him? I think so. Shut up. All right, now it's on, bitches. Whoa, you almost had me. Here, have one of these. Not bad. That extra frost damage is really nice, actually. Oh, hold on a sec. I can do this. Ow! Will not interrupt me. I have permafrost damage, which is very strong. We'll need to lower it. I love when we can actually pull that off. Okay, so that chanting was the Noken. I believe. We've got to listen for that. That creepy ass droning on. Hmm. Something hanging from that tree above us. Indeed. Could be useful. Could be. Oh, hold on. We're not done over here yet. Anything interesting, brother? Dead on arrival. Dead on arrival. A warning to all who pass this spit of land. The dead here do not die. Rain or shine, in the heat of the day, in the chill of the night, they follow their master's will. Leave now whether you value your life or peace in your death. You do not want the prison of this magic. Necromancy haunts the dirt beneath your feet. Hmm. Sounds like a pleasant place. There's <laughs> also a bridge right there. I'm going to leave that up for now, just to... <laughs> Remind myself that we haven't used that yet. Oh, look. We get to light. Oh, that's part of the puzzle for this. Okay, so how are we going to light that one on fire? That's the question. Oh, you know what we could do? I think we could... Yep. I can't reach that. And I bet the bridge won't fall until I do that. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Busket. Shattered runes. All right. So we got to figure out. Wait a minute. Can we? Oh, that causes an explosion. I was gonna say, maybe we could, like, chain these over. Mm, that's not really working. Something about this puzzle I'm not getting. And I don't know if it's mechanical or just me being dumb. Oh. Oh, look, it makes the reticule like I can reach that. But I actually can't. Hmm. There must be a way to transfer the fire from one side to the other. 
Yeah, I thought that would have been chaining the sigil arrows, like they said. Oh, you know what? Maybe we don't start. Maybe we only use two of them, and then we shoot this. There we go. That'll do it. Aha. Looks like that worked. Yay, go me. So the trick to that was to not put one on the one that you were trying to light from. Because that's where the explosion starts. So, yeah, makes sense. Well, that did it. Okay. Here is Epic Chest. Let's see if we don't get a heavy runic attack from this. We're only 30 freaking hours into the game. That's another raven sent to the Tree of the Dead. Perhaps we should check up on it, hmm? Yes, indeed. Axe Attachment, Grip of the Fallen Alchemist. A grip originally forged by an alchemist who was said to be experimenting with runic magic to increase their lifespan. High luck chance to grant a health burst on any successful hit with the Serpent Snare skill. Serpent Snare, you say? Um, we would lose a little defense and some strength, but we gain vitality and luck. What we have now adds a concussive wave to the end of the axe combo. Honestly, don't even think I've noticed that, to be honest. Oh, that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and I like the stats from this one more, so. What? Where? Oh, you're all the way over here. Do not suffer you to heal yourself. You should know that right now. Got it. See ya. Anybody else? Fair enough. You know what? I suppose I should actually check and see what that Serpent Snare skill is. Which also reminds me we have new skills that we can buy. So we should look at this. Um, hold Triangle while spreading to activate Frost Waken quickly. Oh, really? That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> But we've got to be economical with our XP, so let's look at the others, too. Increase the duration and damage of Vengeful Sickle. I do like that. That move's really good. A heavy attack finisher at the end of the light combo. R1, 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 R2 to perform. Deals high damage and frost. Not bad. Switch stances... Okay, and then in the new stance, R2, R2 to perform a ranged attack combo. So attack, wait, R2, R2. Oh, that looks cool. What is Serpent Snare? I don't see it. Hmm, okay. Um, I'm gonna buy this one for sure. And then for the blades, striking an enemy during its attack with Scorch Sweep significantly increases the damage dealt. But you have to do it during the attack, okay. Same thing, but with Scorched Earth. Hmm, I don't like those. While Immolation is full, press R1 plus circle to activate. Oh yeah. If this is as good as the permafrost one, we're gonna need that. <laughs> For sure. 
And that's actually all we unlocked on this tree. Hmm. Okay. Well, I could get a mod token for Hyperion Pool. Slight increase to damage. Great increase to protection. I probably like that the most. Greatly increases immolation charge. Hmm. I think protection is good. I really like that one. Because in this game, way more than the first game, they freaking love to interrupt your attacks and just gangbang you while you're trying to do other stuff. So let me just double check on this. The Serpent Snare skill. What the hell is Serpent Snare? They say it's a skill. Any successful hit with the Serpent Snare skill. It's got to be an axe attack because it's of axe runic attack, right? <laughs> Oh, fuck, there it is. Oh, I completely missed it last time. Oh, it's that one. It's the one that I kind of like. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, I mean, I do use that fairly frequently as well. Wait, can I craft this right now no no i can't okay i didn't even realize we had a token slot open for this hmm. yeah i just i don't like this as much as i did in the first game but i it's still good it has good utility damn oh that actually makes that a tough choice <laughs> i think i'll stick with what i have for now maybe we'll change it out later once i can buy a mod token for that Kind of give it like a super buff, you know? Oh, that must have popped out of that thing before and I just missed it. Well, you I know, got it now. I would have beaten you. What? Earlier. If Atreus hadn't been there. <laughs> Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Yeah, I don't know about all that, Freya. You put up a good fight. I'll give you that much. But I, don't know, I wouldn't say that you definitely would have beat me. You've got these cool new Valkyrie powers, and that's really dope. But you forget that I also beat all of the Valkyries, including the Queen of the Valkyries. So maybe just slow your roll a little bit. <laughs> A lot of twists and turns in this area. I'm definitely going to miss stuff in this place. So... This is leading back to... Oh, what's back here? Oh. Oh, okay, we got it. <laughs> this little spot all about this crest belonged to odin a peace offering from my people and a waste of good work that's too bad odin's crest when odin married the goddess freya the people of vanaheim some of the more optimistic ones anyway wished to welcome the allfather into their culture in a gesture of tragically misplaced hospitality they carved the allfather a family crest of his very own a symbol of trust he thanked them for the gift and tossed it away once he was out of view. It would not be the last time he betrayed the Vanir's trust. Man, what an asshole. <laughs> it's funny how, like, literally every single story about Odin is just him being a douchebag. You never hear a story that's like, oh yeah, Odin just, out of the kindness of his heart, decided to help this person out. Just on a whim. Just decided to do something fun. Oh, goodness. 
This is a Realm Tear. I remember those from the first game. It's going to be a super strong enemy in that thing. I didn't even think that they had brought those back for this game because... Like I said, Christ, we're like 30 hours into the game. We haven't even seen any yet. Coffin's open. 30 of 40. Nice. And here's a lore scroll. Non-violence. This will end in blood. The only question that remains is which side is willing to spill more. The Aesir are not known for their mercy. Just ask the giants. Yet our realm is split between those with half a brain and those who believe that pacifism and action will somehow win the day. These Vanir will be kicked in the teeth and apologize for spilling their blood on the Einherjar's boots. We have tried to reason with these, what other word is there? Cowards. They cannot be swayed. They will not help us muster a resisting force in numbers of any real meaning. And so what else can we do? What else but entreat the Sayor magics to do what they will not? They are dangerous to the old magics, yes, but can anyone say with confidence that they outweigh the dangers of doing nothing at all? Perhaps we will change. Perhaps our minds will fall to pieces. But if that is the price we pay for striking back against the Aesir, it is one we pay gladly. Man, they kind of put your backs up against the wall. Nobody can blame you for feeling that way. Oh, that's going to lead down to a new area too. I think there might be a chisel gate down there. Well, let's see if this works the same as it did in the first game. Yep. Okay. They are level five. Whoa. Nice try, bitch. I don't know what you're doing, but I want you to stop it. <laughs> Woo! Nice try. Not on my watch there, buddy. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. They they hit really hard. Yeah, I'm not going to use this stone right now. Because I, I assume we're going to respawn right here. And I want to save that for when it's actually going to be, like, really helpful. Like, I had no chance of winning that fight right then. Every time. Every time with these stupid fucking flowers. I swear to God. What level am I right now? I am close to level four, but not quite. So these guys are technically two levels above me. Oh, sweet Lord Jesus. They hit really hard. Oh, I did get the stun on her though. <laughs> Look, I still have health. Come on, get back up. <laughs> I got a health burst as I was dying. Kratos, we need you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I was close to winning this fight and then I got killed, I would use the resurrection stone. But I'm like not even close on either of those attempts. Oh, look, a busket. Nice. Oh, Billy! I tried to carry that. Oh my god. Alright. We can rage it up. Maybe we can chunk one of them down with rage. We're really lucky. Yep, okay, so we can get rid of one of them with rage. Ow! Mother of Pearl, man. Okay, have that. Hey, I did it! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to actually win that fight. If I'm being honest with y'all. Dust of Realms and Stone Wood. And Dwarven Steel and Hone Metal. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's why I prefer 
the attack rage over the heal rage. It really seems like a bad deal, like once I've sat down and thought about it. Because not only does the attack rage also heal you, not as much probably granted, but it also makes you invincible, by the way, while you're using it. And you can deal out massive damage, and you're getting healed. All at the same time. What the fuck? Is that nice? Oh my goodness! Are you... You're not a friendly guy, are you? Yeah. Right. Oh man, we gotta fight him and his kids. Hold on a second now. Watch your life. On your guard, I do not have my deflect today. Jesus. Sorry, I have to kill you in front of your kids. But you attacked me. <laughs> Enemy behind you, really? Oh, mother of God. What are you, the mom? Okay. I like how I couldn't decide which one I wanted to throw it at, so I just threw it in the middle and hit nobody. That was really cool. Yeah, I'm so freaking close to being dead. Alright, let's get rid of you. Try and grab his health. Raldunger. Hold on, I gotta check that out. A mount favored by Odin's Einherjar. You likened it to a lion from Greece, combined with the horns of a goat, the antlers of a stag, and the unnatural ability to combust the foliage around them. That's right, we fought one of these before. Timely dodging is a critical tactic against any flame growl. It's out of balance. That was another fight that I was not expecting to win, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Kind of really proud of myself for pulling that off. Oh. 